All right, so two reasons why you need to not roll over your 401k to an IRA. I'm gonna share that with you here real quick. Just sitting again outside, waiting for one of my kids' basketball games to start. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. Look at that weather right there. It's the February 2nd, I think, or February 3rd, I can't remember. Oh man, it's such a glorious day. It's good to be alive. All right, so here's two reasons. You ready for the quick and easy? If you roll over your 401k to an IRA, what can you not do, number one? Number one is you can't take a loan from it. It's a loan free. You cannot roll over a 401k to an IRA and then take a loan from an IRA. It doesn't work like that. Everyone says, well, I can borrow the money for 60 days. It's not really a loan. That's a, a distribution, which you'll get a 1099. And you have 60 days in which to put it back in. And if you don't, it'll be taxable as ordinary income. And on top of that, you have to pay a 10% penalty if you're under the age of 59 and a half. So if you roll over your 401k to an IRA, you'll sacrifice your ability to borrow from it, which I'm telling you right now is a big deal. Everyone says, don't ever borrow from your 401k, and everyone is wrong when they say that. So let me just change the, oh, look at that. All right, so that's one, one thing. Number two, what are the exceptions in which you can have access to your money in your 401k uh, without being a 10% penalty? And what are the exceptions that you can have access to your IRA without the 10% penalty? Well, if the IRA is 59 and a half, once you're over 59 and a half, you have access to the IRA money without penalty. Not without tax, but without penalty. What's one of the exceptions when you're in a 401k? Or uh, we'll just use that for an employer-sponsored plan, TSP, 401k, 403b, whatnot. Well, guess what? If you separate from service at 55 or beyond, you have access to your money without the 10% penalty. And if you're a, uh, a first responder of some sort, EMT, firefighter, police, you have access to it once you hit 50. So let's just use a 401k, for example, and uh, we'll just say you're getting ready to, you think about quitting your crappy old job, you're 50 years old, but man, you think, I'm going to stay, I'm going to quit this crappy old job and go to this other crappy old job for five years, then I'm going to retire. All right, so you quit job A, you're 50, you roll it to an IRA, because that's what everyone tells you to do, and you've only got five years to put money into a 401k with your second crappy old job. So now 55 comes around, you're like, hey, I was just find out that I can access this once I separate from service at 55 without the 10% penalty. That's great. Uh, I'm going to take the money out from my IRA? No, it does. You can, but you'll pay a 10% penalty. If you would have moved your 401k from crappy old job A to the 401k at crappy old job B, and you separate from service from 401 at, from crappy old job B once you reach the fit age of 55, the entirety of that 401k can be accessible because you've breached the 55 year old time when you separated from service, which is one of the exceptions to the 10% penalty. <sighs> A lot to think about there, isn't there? So just remember, you separate from service at 55 or older. Your 401k, your employer-sponsored plan is accessible without, ta without penalty. Not without taxes, but without penalty. If you have an IRA and you separate from service after 55, that is not accessible. It's only the employer-sponsored plan. So what you do is you take your crappy old job employer number one and you roll it to your new crappy old job uh, employer number two's 401k. You can absolutely do that. You can combine 401ks without question. So now your 401k balance at crappy old job number two is 100,000 bucks. Now you're 55, you're saying I'm quitting my crappy old job. I have access to that $100,000 without penalty. Not without taxes, mind you, but without penalty. The taxes probably be secondary simply because you're probably not making much money because you have no job. But uh, be it as it may, you still gotta pay tax on that. But you don't have to pay a penalty because you separate from service after the age of 55. And it's in a 401k. It cannot, what is that going behind me? Is that a bird? It can't be a, a IRA. It can only be a 401k. So two rules right there. You can borrow against 401k. I like borrowing against 401k, especially to pay off high credit card debt, without question. In fact, I think I should write a book about that. Oh, I've already, oh there's a guy on a bike. I've already done that. Number two. You can absolutely take distributions from a 401k, an employer-sponsored plan, once you are 55 and above, if you separate from service at that plan at that time. Now, you can't say, I'm going to leave it a 401k, I'm going to quit my crappy old job at 53, and then I'm going to come back around when I'm 55 and take the distribution tax for uh, income or penalty-free. It doesn't work like that. It only works once you separate service at 55. 
But still, that is a rule that the IRAs do not allow. So just keep that in mind. All right, hope this helps. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to go check out my boy here, see if he uh, starts jamming and slamming and dunking like Muggsy Bogues. Remember Muggsy Bogues? Um, uh, we don't have a lot of athleticism in my family. We just don't. I wish we did. We love sports, but not that athletic. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks now.